This video is about the Fujifilm XF16-55 f2.8. I've made a few videos about this lens already, but I like it so much that I can't help myself. But question, what is your go-to zoom lens? Let me know down in the comments below. Everything that comes next in this section is to say that the 16-55 f2.8 is one of Fujifilm's highest quality lenses. If you're a Sony shooter, then this would be G Master quality. Fujifilm XF16-55 f2.8 sports a full metal body design with a rubber zoom ring, which we'll talk about a little bit later. I bought this lens used, so I don't have the lens hood, but the lens cap, the rear lens cap is plastic. The 16-55 is a 24-82.5 if we round up a 24 to 83 millimeter full frame equivalent lens that has a constant 2.8 aperture that stays at 2.8 throughout the entire zoom range. Now let's talk about the inner workings of the lens for a little bit. It has 17 glass elements in 12 groups, which includes three aspherical lens elements to control spherical aberration and distortion, three extra low dispersion glass elements to reduce lateral chromatic aberration when the lens is between 16 millimeter and 35 millimeter, and an axial chromatic aberration when the lens is between 35 millimeters and 55 millimeters. All this is to say that the lens is able to achieve edge to edge sharpness through the entire focal range with little to no artifacts. The lens has three rings on the body, the focus ring, the zoom ring, and the aperture ring, which we already established that the zoom ring has a rubber grip around it. The aperture ring controls the nine rounded aperture blades that allows for smooth circular bokeh. The lens comes in at 655 grams and has a 77 millimeter filter thread. And the lens comes with some of Fujifilm's high quality glass coatings such as the transmittance electronic beam coating and the nano gradient index, which basically means that the lens can control flaring and ghosting. On top of all of that, the 16-55 f2.8 has fast and stealthy linear focus motors. It is weather resistant, dust resistant, and is a great lens for all of Fujifilm's weather sealed cameras like the X-H1, great camera. The Fujifilm XF16-55 f2.8 is my go-to lens when it comes to shooting video. The lens is sharp, which really shows through when it comes to image quality. In my opinion, it is so sharp that I use lens filters like the Tiffin and the Freewheel Mist filters to soften the image. This lens lives on my camera. It is heavy, it looks the part, and it produces the quality I'm looking for out of a zoom lens. There are two zoom lenses that I would recommend to anyone getting into the Fujifilm system for content creation and photography if you aren't into shooting primes. The XF16-55 f2.8 is the first and the XF10-24 millimeter f4 is the second. I throw in the eight to 16 millimeter, but that lens alone costs the same as the 16 to 55 and the 10 and 24 combined. So both lenses are near and above around the $1,000 price range, but the quality is there. And even though the lens ranges overlap when it comes to content creation, you'll be all set. And when you eventually get a new camera body, the lenses will hold up across whichever bodies you choose. The XF 16 to 55 is one of the three lenses that make up my Fujifilm X-H13 lens kit. You can check out the video right here. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button, but thanks for joining subscribing and staying awesome. Stay awesome.